this is the lamp to help it dot t e high power j pole antenna uh, dxwire.com mini 10 meters okay here this is the the j pole antenna this is the, the tuning part here tuning part and this is the, the whole way wire and this here uh, is a slider this is the slider for uh, the frequency tuning here higher frequency and lower frequency when we move the slider here we get a lower frequency okay this is the antenna here the wire The mast, the xwire.com mast. And this, this is the end, the end of this uh, antenna wire here into the top tube here, the top, the small top tube. Okay, yeah. this is the, the end of this uh, uh, J pole antenna. Normally, uh, this is a special. Um, slope here on the end but we, we must cut the slope away and we must remove the insulation here we must remove the insulation for about five centimeters and then we can put it put it oh, uh, into the tube here okay and this wire here the top wire must go into this tube here and now we will put it into the tube here eh? okay I, I will remove the insulation here a little bit more with this uh, cutter here with this knife here so very good we stay knife. more and more here the wire goes now into this tube and it will end here on the top yes and the wire is now coming out and we must pull it a little bit out here with a, uh, this here yeah. and then we fix it with a tape here with a cotton tape here on the end of the po of the rod here okay now this is the end oh sorry this is the end here and now we will bend it down here like so and fix it with a cable tie okay this is a cable tie pen tie or tie wrap by Thomas and Betts here and uh, we keep cut off here spare part and then we fix it with this Vulcan band uh, not an insulation band it's a, a Vulcan band like a scrimp tube here and now we will rise the antenna from part to part and this I think goes so I take it here and you can see the wire goes in Super, super. More and more into the tube here, into the DX wire mast here. More and more and more, more and more and more. And now <coughs> we must fix here the tubes. All the tubes we must fix. All tubes here. Together. Okay. Okay. We should fix this uh, fitting here uh, with a Vulcanic tape. That gives me a very good set here. Okay, and this part is now fixed with a Vulcanic 
tape here, a Vulcan tape. Okay, and this is the fixed antenna and mast here. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, okay, now the antenna is into the tube. And uh, now this is the bracket TV set bracket here. And now we must install the bracket on the dxwire.com mast here for this j pole antenna. Okay, okay now uh, we tighten the mast clamp here, the, the antenna here, the mast clamp. Okay. I think it's uh, ready to move it to the mast, to the test mast here. A very nice bracket and the antenna is not more than 1.1 kilos. Yes, uh, this here, this is a mast clamp from a TV antenna, from a terrestrial TV antenna. And this clamp works very good together with the DX wire. Dot com mast here and this is the, the end of the J pole antenna and the connector to the coaxial cable here the 50 ohm cable oh, very good here now I will move it on the mast on this mast here and now we look What's the rest of it? Okay, the antenna is now on the mast on a different mast clamp here bracket from uh, my old uh, big stick. It is uh, uh, now um, we are testing the SWR range here uh, from this antenna. From this J pole antenna and the X wire.com mast here we are on 26 and the SWR here on 26 is about 3 here and now we go up to 26 1, 26 2, 26 uh, 5 on 5 uh, the SWR is down to 2.5 and you go up here 27.7 and here on 28.8 is it 2 and exactly on 27 it's 1.325 and the absolutely lowest SWR is exactly here on the channel 21 27.215 1.0 here we can see and now we go up to the higher parts the higher frequencies on channel 40 um, is it about 1.2 and on dribble 5 about uh, 1.5 and we go higher and higher and the SWR will increase here on the higher frequency on we will look on 28.0 the SWR is um, about 2.6 2.7 and we go higher and higher and the uh, SWR is over 3. Okay, um, for the 40 channels, for this 40 CV channels, the antenna is exactly tuned in the middle of the range here. It's a very good J pole antenna with this dxwire.com mast. Thank you very much. Okay, the antenna is now in the height with a new bracket, a very stable bracket.
you can see it. Here, the it is down, and the antenna is in a height of about 20 meters over the ground. <laughs> 